Hey folks, my name is Jordan. You may recognize me from my favorite calling as Becky's husband. I'm also the guy that's running around the church after two littles, especially the oldest 22 month old. My goodness, I'm getting a ton of steps in and my knees are aching. But I'm speaking to you today to let you know that God is up to something. In 2018, I joined a ministry team for an organization called Kairos Torch. Kairos is an international prison ministry organization that's designed to meet people where they are. Our mission is this, share the transforming love and forgiveness of Jesus Christ to impact the hearts and lives of incarcerated men, women, and youth as well as your families. We do that using the four L's. Listen, listen, love, and love. Cairo's Torch is specifically geared toward juveniles that are behind bars. The team that I'm with is comprised of people that just want to let students know that they are loved by God, God has not given up on them, and God never will. We meet the kids over a weekend, then begin mentoring them weekly, one-on-one, -on -one for about six months. Part of my calling in this ministry comes from my own experience. I used to be really good at making bad decisions, and there was a time in my life that I needed someone to meet me where I was in that concrete place and tell me that God was more concerned with my future than my past. God pursued me through the kindness of someone else. So grateful that they did. Most of the cats I used to kick it with are either dead or serving long-term prison sentences. God's light reflected on me and I recognized that the results of my bad decisions would always leave me in a concrete place, literally and figuratively. But God, now I have the opportunity to be a voice in someone else's life. A voice that says you were fearfully and wonderfully made by a creator that made the entire universe and thought this world could use one of you. I tell them things like, if God can make a bug's butt light up, just imagine what God can do in your life. We don't go in there to beat the kids over the heads with a Bible. We go in to reflect the light of Christ through our loving actions and conversations. We go to listen. We go to love. Jesus does the rest. I'm over the moon because the final weekend of October will be our first weekend back in the Pendleton Juvenile Correctional Facility since COVID hit. It's been three long years. Pastor Tandy has come up with some really creative ways that Life Journey can walk alongside me and support this ministry God is connecting us to. I would first ask for prayer. Would you pray that God's light is reflected in abundance during this weekend and through the mentoring? I also ask for prayer for my family while I'm responding to this call. It's not to diminish how incredible Becky is, but like in all situations, a little prayer never hurts. Thank you, Life Journey. Much love.